<laughs> Hi, I'm Jason. Um, <laughs> this is my work partner, uh, Antonio. Um, we had a really great um, time. His nickname was Gurion, which means hummingbird in Spanish. He was one of the youngest, smallest uh, villagers that we worked with. Um, he was about 17 years old, weighed maybe 110 pounds. Um, that didn't stop him from working really hard. Um, our relationship was really, really, we had a really fun relationship. Um, big part of it was learning different phrases um, from one another. I learned some Spanish from him. He learned some English from me, um, such as, beautiful girl, I love you, baby. Um, <laughs> um, uh, maybe not the most practical phrases. He also learned how to say, almost finished, because whenever we were almost done with our trench, he would say that all the time, or kind of trying to encourage me to finish. Um, and of course, the digging was a lot harder for me, so one of his other favorite ones was, come on, man, it's easy. So I was like, <laughs> but that was always fun. Um, not always encouraging, but... Uh, I had a really challenging uh, first day there. I was really optimistic, I'm really idealistic um, about how my time in Honduras was gonna be. Um, I was really excited when I got to meet my work partner. I didn't speak much Spanish, um, but the first day was really tough. Uh, we walked out with our piocha and pala, uh, pickaxe and shovel, and got our 30 meter ditch that we were supposed to dig out, and. I was not expecting it to be that hard. Um, <laughs> I, I've always been kind of physically fit, you know, I play soccer and I did ROTC, so I thought I'd be, you know, good to go, but halfway through the day, I was just dying. It was, it was on a slope about like this. It was, felt like it was 100 degrees, and I just had to take breaks. And I felt like we were digging through a brick house. I mean, I swear bricks were coming out of the ground. <laughs> and I mean, I felt like I was going to puke about halfway through the day, and I was so humbled. Um, but I mean, I was very thankful that John and um, Javen were right next to me, so it was really good to talk to them. Um, but despite like how tough it was for me, Antonio, who was like so much smaller than me, he was working through it. He didn't complain one bit, and uh, I really learned through that experience and through the rest of the week that it's not going to be my, my, by my strength. Uh, that the Lord is going to be shown this week. Um, no matter how, how strong or how good I think I am, you know, I've gone to Wheaton and grown up and really wealthy and smart, and I feel like I'm physically strong, but that's not how the Lord wanted to use me while I was in Honduras. And it was such a great um, knowledge to know that the, the Lord is going to work outside of that. And despite of my inability, the Lord really did work. Antonio and I had a great time. We really developed a strong friendship. Um, he saved me from a coral, coral snake one time, which is a highly venomous, lethal snake. So that was pretty interesting. Um, even on the second day, he told me, um, he handed me a piece of paper with his phone number on it, and he's like, okay, now you have a, a friend in Honduras, and I have a friend in North America, and I was like, Wow, so that was cool. Um, and at the end of the week, he told me uh, this was the best week of his life, and that was really impactful for me. Um, and even though we had only spent one week uh, together, we had grown so much, we'd been able to share a lot with each other. He had shown me his home, his family, where he works, and I was able to share with him about my faith and uh, why we were there. So that was really a beautiful experience. Um, and just a reflection on how much that trip had an impact on that village. Um, at the end of the trip, when we were leaving in the cattle truck, there was a lot of tears and um, a lot of sadness about probably not seeing these people again. Um, but Antonio and his brother got in a pickup truck along with a bunch of kids from the village and were chasing after us as we drove away in our cattle truck and I mean people were just crying and Antonio leaned out of the passenger side window and grabbed his hat and threw it out to me and Aaron caught it and gave it to me and I've, I've had this hat um, I've been wearing it almost every day since and um, 
that was just really neat because I didn't, I didn't really give Antonio anything, but he gave me this hat, and ever since I've just been trying to, whenever I wear it, I just try to pray for him and think about that village and trying to think about, you know, it's tough when you leave after being there for a week and trying to think, what does this mean for me? Um, probably not ever going to go back to that village, but we learned a lot about, you know, um, how God has called us. Um, as Americans, he has a unique purpose for us um, because he's blessed us so much monetarily and financially and educationally, and so he wants, he wants to use us in special ways to help his kingdom. And so, thank you. Thank you.